because I'm a perfectionist. Well, as you can tell by my mullet wig. Wait a minute, that's a wig? I thought that was your natural hair. Yeah. And you're looking good. I mean, it, it happens a lot. It's kind of like, I think I can't. This requires a system. <laughs> Everybody, I tell you what, it's a great day today. We've got a lot of YouTubers here. We're hanging out down in South Texas, and I'm gonna let everybody holler and tell you who they are. But we've got a bunch of different channels here, and we're having a wonderful time. We're just gonna do a little video today, showing you some behind the scenes, showing you just having a good time, and just introducing all these channels to you. So I'll start off, with Chef Johnny, Texas style barbecue and cuisine, and we'll just let everybody else introduce themselves. Start on the end, I guess. Troy, let's go. <laughs> D-Roy Cooks, glad to be here. Appreciate you having us, Chef Johnny. That's right. A.B. from Smoking and Grilling with A.B. You know it, West Coast. Rick, this is Rick's Barbecue in Blackstone, San Antonio, Texas. New channel, this is the man right here. All these guys are. B1, Texas Beard Adventures, in the house. I wear a mullet wig when I feel like <laughs> it. <laughs> Which is all the time. <laughs> we got cooking with Kirby. Southern California boy. Hey, thank you guys for the Texas welcome. Having fun out here. Good to have you here, buddy. Thank you. I'm C9 with Texas Beard Adventures. B1 is my favorite blonde. <laughs> <laughs> James, Brother James. James with Amber Clinton Smokers. Thank Brother Johnny for having us out here and all the other YouTubers for hanging out. Awesome day. We got Bill, Chicken Fried Barbecue. Anyways, great day. Y'all are gonna see all these channels. We're gonna put links down below. We're gonna have just different things throughout the day. You don't know what all you're gonna see or what's gonna happen, but as things happen, we're gonna show foods getting made, foods going on, foods coming off, and us just sitting around eating and having a good time. So check it out, watch it, and check out all these channels here because there's some great people, and I think you'll enjoy it. We got us some uh, on that backstrap, and we're gonna do, we're gonna, Mix it. All that backstrap. I got some venison chorizo. Mix that with some cream cheese. Wrap it with some bacon. And these are just a little bit of appetizers here. I need to get a nappy can. B1, so where'd you get this all dad backstrap from? This is from um, the Coconut 06 Ranch in West Texas. Uh, my buddy has a lease out there and we go out there and shoot. This was a U and we're gonna give it a try. I've never had it. Chef cooked uh, carne guisada. Carne guisada. All that carne guisada said it a surprise. Yeah, it was very, it was very cool. good. Tender, great flavor. Cool. And it was you also. Yeah, I don't understand why a lot of people don't like all that. They shoot them and leave them. Yeah. They don't even claim the backstrap. Yeah. All right, B1, so almost cleaning up, almost done cleaning up here. Yeah, getting all this silver skin off, so that way it'll, it will uh, cook up nice and tender. You leave that silver skin on there, it'll be chewy. We don't want that. You can spend as much time on this, or as little time on this as you want. I like to spend a lot of time on it. So we're gonna cut medallions, and then we're gonna bang it out. Tenderizer. What size do you like to cut these medallions? An uh, inch and a half, two inches. I mean, this is six inches, right? That's what your wife says. Mr. James, what kind of seasoning you got on these ribs today? Top secret. Top secret. These are uh, my competition seasonings, so. I use about three different three different seasonings on these. So we'll let it sit, <clears throat> get your sweat in. It should have a nice mahogany color once they're uh, ready to go. We'll get them on the pit. And uh, so they turn out, these rib tips, I'm probably just gonna season up differently. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna treat these just like I would a competition rib. So you'll kind of get an idea of what they taste like. Good deal, they look delicious. Thank you. 
Oh, I hope we don't run out of cooking devices today. <laughs> barrel house cooker, all kinds of barrel cookers, and if we get bored, a Bowflex in the corner. <laughs> Mr. Troy over here with T-Roy Cooks is gonna be cooking up some burnt ends for us today. This is looking good. What kind of seasoning do you have on this right now? That's the new Chupa Cabra. I'm familiar with them. Yes, sir. Cabra brisket rub, man, it's good stuff. All right, good deal. Yeah. So they also came out with a, uh, it's like a, a lime and almost a vinegary, kind of real salty one. I hadn't tried that one yet. Yeah. I'm not crazy about it on meat. It's real good on chips though. I bet so. Poultry. Yep. What are you doing, you lazy mutt? is we got us some holy cow meat church barbecue rub we're gonna season these up so the plan here is to season them up first then stuff them, then reseason them. Is that right? Correct. I like to sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on the bacon. At the finished product, I like to put a little crusty on there. Turns out real nice. Hey guys. Best mother on YouTube right there. That's Bang. right. That's right. Ow! Eat your heart out. Give me the name of your channel. Uh, I'm B1 Texas Beard Adventure. Do uh, cooking, hunting, fishing, stuff with my kids. I'm trying to raise them boys to be better than I am. So, and this is good. This is, I'm C9 with Texas Beard Adventures. Now, how do you come with the B1 C9? Is that like an R2D2? You want to know the truth? Yeah, but people want to know. <laughs> Uh, I got a buddy that's Brad, and we fought for a long time, and I, I had some t-shirts made that were embroidered with B1 and B2, oh, I and I kept the B1, and, and I gave him the B2, so it's official. I got a t-shirt with my name on it, and I'll let you tell them why they call you C9. <laughs> How much cream cheese to chorizo are you putting in there? I think that was... Uh, Pound of chorizo. I got eight ounces. I got a pound of cream cheese. So a pound to pound, one, one to one ratio. We just take a little dab, spoonful, put it in there. Grab our bacon. Wrap it up like that. Give me, hand me one of them skewers there, C9. I know it wasn't on the back of the trailer anymore, so I don't know where it was. Just shove it on there, you know. So James, how long do you like to let your ribs sit with the seasoning on them? Or I guess, how do you tell when they have sweat enough? Yeah. Well, you can see, I got them covered up right now because of flies but they would have sweat in a little more the problem is that uh, it's kind of sticking to the paper towel here but the flies is something you got to do but you can see it, it'll start to look wet i season them about an hour before they go on the grill so pull them out i usually pre pre-trim and inject the night before and then uh i'll pull them out about an hour before they go on the grill season them up and let them sit for about an hour and then um I pull them out about an hour and a half before they go on the grill Season them up, let them sit for an hour, and get them on the grill. So, yeah. What temperature are you going to be shooting for today? Uh, for these, I'm cooking at 300 degrees, and uh, in temp in internal temperature, you're looking uh, 198, 200. But I, I usually don't go by temp, I go by fill. So I'll bend them, I'll see how they feel. I'll look at the pullback, uh, see what the pullback looks like, if there's any blowouts on the back. A blowout is if you turn the ribs upside down where the bone is at, if the bone is exposed, that's called a blowout. That, that, that's an indication that they're, they're done. So, 
Uh, but I'm, I'll take this to about 198, 200 degrees. Hey, why don't you need that? Good deal. Looking good. Oh, Yeah, I'm about to put these on. Some tortillas and All right. Guacamole is the pink of the guy. I could have made my home name guacamole. No, both. Both. Pink of the guy. They got it up in the in the cooler section in the in the uh, produce. Okay. They've got it in the shelves up there. We're almost to the end. You probably throw them on now. Better get there. Thank you. Yeah, we're just over 250. Hey, right, grab grab some paper towels. Yeah. All right, ABC, see y'all in a minute. What do we got over here, Troy? I'm um, just cubing up some pork belly. Gonna make some pork belly burn ins with it. You wanna cook all the sides. Roll them around. Cut all the sides. <clears throat> Get it all on the, the goodness all over it, right? All around. Have you ever thought about wearing a wearing a mullet wig, Troy? Dude, I, I used to I did a video where I'm wearing a red wig. A red wig. In in honor of a red female cook on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I did. That's awesome. I still got that red wig, too. I still got that red wig. Now it just stays in the house. Yeah. I bring it up for special occasions when, you know, when I'm conversing with the uh, Christie's or name. <laughs> you know, when I'm just giving her a shout out or something. Right. Everybody knows her red hair. Yeah. Well, at least the ones in my, my group, anyway. In your, in your channel, right? Yeah. I need to get one. You got a spatula, Chef? Uh, yeah. All right. All right. I'm about to get a camera out for our video, so I can have to know we're here. You may flip your sausage too? Yeah, might as well. Explode it up. So those are venison chopsteaks with, uh, I think, American cheese and jalapeno wrapped with bacon. Rick's got some sausage in here. Go ahead and put that one back on. I'll flip those one more time. And that's an all-dad backstrap right. stuff. Stuffed with uh, venison chorizo cream cheese wrapped with bacon. It's French bacon, if you didn't know. Yeah, I mean, it's French, right. <coughs> Hey dog, don't get out of the way. I mean, no one's walking around you. Sausages you got here? It's uh, garlic and jalapeno and cheese, nice. two links of each. Where'd you get them from? Ben Shorn's Meat Market in Marion. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you should ever think, well, because these people did it. I you probably have people who follow you who don't follow us yet. Looking good. Austin, no, we were just there yesterday. Were you? We were at Franklin's. Ain't nobody calling? It's good hey, flavor. What the hell? We were not Turn out a little oh, tough. Yeah, yeah, we were there. We right. didn't even comment. It's good. You know what I'm... Oh, man. 
man. Mm. No rub, no seasoning, just no marinade. No rubs, no seasoning, just marinade. Wow. That is great. How long did you have it in that pineapple and sauce marinade? Overnight. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed me and old C9 going over to Chef Johnny's. It was really good to meet all the guys that were over there. If you enjoyed watching my video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check me out on Instagram, at Texas Beard Adventures. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. Ow! So is that it? Are we, are you going to leave the moat look off? Oh, man. Oh, man. I want my, my wife to see me show up with the blonde tonight. I can put it back on. One, two, three. Feet first. Now, try to run, you dang Land Rover. You've been carrying those power tools around? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, this is one of my vices. I have, I have issues with tools. How many vices do you have? Half a dozen, probably. <laughs> good. Yeah. Oh. Way to go, Fred. Fourth beer. Patrick. Ain't sitting too good. Zach! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> chicken! My chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? 10% really got me going. The DNR. Alright, cook those. So nasty, cook, cook those two. What does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going. Ow!